right there in the middle of it in Folsom to show us the whole thing. Oh yeah, this is where the magic happens. So this is where Thurman Christmas takes place. Like you said, delighted everyone who came out tonight. And Tyler Pepper, who really just came up with this whole idea, says this was something that he wanted to do, wanted to bring to his neighborhood during the pandemic. And in the years since, the display and the excitement has only grown. <laughs> The candy canes, the lights and decorations are all carefully placed. Each detail is a part of Tyler Pepper's vision um, for Thurman straight, Christmas. You know, making it look aesthetic. And while there's magic to be found here, he'll tell you a lot goes into pulling this off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's how the lights light up the faces of his neighbors that keeps him doing this year after year. It's the best. I mean, you see like your kids you've never met and they're just running, smiling and kind of a way to, you know, bring everyone in together. The display takes over the family's Folsom home starting Labor Day weekend. He gets the neighbors involved. It's the best community you could possibly have. And this neighborhood is amazing. And this is the reason why we love living here. And we'll do this three nights this season. Well, I won't be putting my pajamas on early, um, so it's super fun. Tyler's mom says her son's love for Christmas dates back to when he was a kid himself. It warms my heart. It warms my heart that he enjoys this so much and works so hard to do it. And yes, we do play the power bill. That is our contribution to it. <laughs> and once the kids arrive, they seem to sense that something special is in store. Play the snow. That's all. Eight minutes, yeah! It's going to be so awesome. It's so good to see them just, you know, eyes wide open, just enjoying the magic still while it's there. All right, and Tyler gave us permission to uh, bring some snow to our newscast tonight. There is a fundraising element that is a part of this as well. Proceeds that are raised through the display go towards Folsom's Hope. It's an organization that brings programming to at-risk youth within the public school system. A spokesperson for them told me tonight that they are just so grateful for everything that Tyler's doing in Folsom. Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News. Wow, you got your own special effects there, right? It's your uh, Beck and Calder. Pretty cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, Leah.